everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're making a healthy version of Dunkaroos. This was really highly requested after my homemade Reese's Puffs cereal video. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you check that out down below. And I have a whole playlist which includes Pop-Tarts, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and a bunch of other cool things. So check that out down below. But yeah, today we're gonna make healthy Dunkaroos. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and follow on Instagram for lots more healthy recipes and behind the scenes and everything. So yeah, let's get into it. So to start off our Dunkaroo cookies, I'm using almond flour. I love almond flour because it's a paleo flour. It's loaded with vitamin E because it's made of almonds and it also gives protein and it gives healthy fats and also some fiber. Then I'm adding in some ground flax just to boost the fiber of the cookie and fiber helps keep you full and it also helps keep you regular as well. Some baking powder which is gonna help cookies become cookies. So I'm using one and a half tablespoons, teaspoons, not tablespoons of that. And as always the measurements for everything will be in the description box so you don't have to write as you watch. Then I'm adding in some cinnamon for flavor as well as some coconut sugar. I love coconut sugar because it's an unrefined sugar, um, but it still has like a low glycemic index and it's more natural. Then I'm using some coconut oil, so I'm using a couple of tablespoons here. And with your coconut oil, you do want to make sure that you're always using like virgin and not refined. Then I'm adding in some almond milk here. You can use whatever kind that you like and then some of the mixture together, we're putting that into the dry. So you're just taking the coconut oil and milk mixture and we're putting that together into our batter and kind of just stirring it until you get the nice thick dough. Once that's done, I'm going to take my fingers and just make little round disc shapes, kind of like the round cookies in the Dunkaroos. You can definitely roll out this dough and then make shapes with it if you have a lot of time and you want to like go through the extra effort of making little shapes of like hearts or animals or something like that. But it's really easy just to roll them out, press them out into little discs and use them like that. For the frosting, I used a can of refrigerated coconut milk and I'm literally just whisking the thick part of that until it gets nice and fluffy on high speed. This is probably gonna take two to three minutes. And then I'm taking half of that out and I added a little bit of vanilla, which my camera stopped recording. So make sure you do add a teaspoon of vanilla to this vanilla frosting. And then for the chocolate, I just added a couple of tablespoons of cacao powder, which is gonna make it chocolatey, as you guys can see. So you can add as much cacao powder until it gets as chocolatey as you like. And then you have your vanilla and your chocolate frosting along with your cookies, and they're so yummy. It's so easy to make, and I tried to keep the recipe really simple. All right, so when you're done, this will be your Dunkaroos. We have the vanilla frosting and the chocolate frosting, and then I just did the plain cookies as opposed to a chocolate cookie. Let's go ahead and have a taste, which is my favorite part of my videos. Mm. Neither of them are overly sweet, but you really get that feel of like frosting and cookie, and the cookies turned out really good as well. You can definitely make them into shapes if you want, just by rolling out the dough and using a cookie cutter, but I just did plain round ones. Let's try the chocolate. Mmm. The chocolate is delicious too. It's not too overpowering. If you want a little bit more chocolatey, you can add a couple more tablespoons of cacao powder until your desired level of chocolatiness. But I love that it has no added sugar in either of them. We have no refined sugar as well. So you can definitely feel good about eating these and they won't have any of the artificial stuff that the original ones had. Make sure you leave me any requests you have down below for the next recipe you want me to healthify. It can be anything, snacks, cereals, whatever, that you kind of want me to make a copycat recipe of because I'm having a lot of fun doing this series and you guys seem to love it. So make sure you request something down below and maybe I'll do it in my next video. So I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you next time. Bye guys.